Manawag is manawag because of tawag. In the town, a voice calls. Dagupan is dagupan because of pandaragupan. And here, people come together. People assemble. The revolutionaries assembled here. The longest railway started in Manila and ended in the Gupan. And uh, business people come to the Gupan. That is why it is Pandaragupan. But something strange from our point of view happened in 1898 from, Genu from, from June 27 until July 22nd when the revolutionaries against Spain wanting to secure the image of Our Lady of Manawag brought the image to the Gupal for refuge. Those 25 memorable days in the Gupan are etched in our history because Inan Birhen na Manawag slept with us. So the sun rise and set with us. She stayed with us and it was a great privilege that the Virgin of Manawag wanting to be protected sought refuge and protection in the city. And like good caretakers, we returned the Virgin of Manawag to her shrine when it was safe for her to return. But those 25 beautiful days will forever be in our hearts, the Gupenos. And that is what we are celebrating. When for 25 beautiful days, the mother of Manawag stayed in the Gupan because the Gupan was more secure and safe for our mother. It is a joy to take care of your mother. It brings you some consolation that the one who nurtured you, the one who endured birth pains for you, allows herself to be cared by you. And that is a great honor that the Gupan received in those memorable 25 days. But what makes it even more memorable is not just the mother asks to be cared by her children. It is because also that the protector asks to be protected. We remember how it was in the Gospel of St. Luke when Joseph brought the child Jesus and the mother to Egypt in order to secure the child. It was like those days. The Gupan was the Egypt of the mother and here she was secure. The protector sought protection and the children seeking protection became her protectors. That is the poetic way of putting it. That the mother who cares needed care and the children who seek her care were the ones who took care of the mother who cares for all of us. It is an irony that the protector needed protection. And when the protector needed protection, the Gupan came forward and said, we will protect our mother. And this afternoon, we realize what is proclaimed in the Gospel of St. John after the event of the crucifixion. And from that time on, the disciple, the beloved, took her into his home. The Dagupan Cathedral, under the patronage of St. John, the fisherman who became an evangelist, is home for the mother of Manawag. But something tells us that there is a message coming from Manawag 
and the message coming from the Gupan. Today, we, Mary's children, hear the voice because the voice says, Come to the Gupan. Gali kayo at manawag. Gali kayo at the Gupan. Hali kayo dito. Come to the Gupan. As you have come to Manawag, I am here. Am I not your mother? Do not be afraid. Come to the Gupan. Come to Manawag. Gali kayo. Tinawag sa dagupan. Tinatawag tayo upang magkaisa. We are called to be united because the Gupan stands for that, an assembly point of mixed people. The Gupan is meeting point. The Gupan is rendezvous. The Gupan is where people come together to celebrate. People come together to exchange. People come together just to be together. But my dear brothers and sisters, tinawag sa dagupan, tinawag sa pagkakaisa, tinatawag ng birhen. Pero hindi lahat ng pagkakaisa ay makabirhen. Because not all voices asking us to come together are godly. When the voice tells you, let us come together, and curse God. When the voice tells you, let us come together and steal their money. When the voice tells you, let us come together and kill the sinners. When the voice tells you, let us come together and blaspheme the name of the mother and her child. That voice cannot be the mother's voice. That voice cannot be the son's voice, that voice is the serpent's voice that tempted Eve in paradise. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we declare that we will listen to that voice, that voice in Manawag, Gali kayo in Manawag, I now request you, if I have to plead with you on bended knees, be careful with the voices that you hear. Be discerning with the voices that you listen to. Be discerning, be critical with the voices you choose to follow. Because some of them can fake the voice of the mother. Some of them can fake the voice of the son. But they are the voice of the serpent trying to deceive you, to mislead you, to lead you away from God. After this Mass, we will enthrone the Virgin of Manawag in her pedestal in the Gupan. It is our act of gratitude that on June 27 to July 22, 1898, she stayed in the Gupan. But, my dear brothers and sisters, what is the use of enthroning the virgin whose voice we have heard. If you applaud killers, what is the use of a throne for the virgin who calls when you vote for thieves? What is the use of lighting a candle in front of the virgin when you choose people who disobey the Ten Commandments? What is the use of offering flowers, lighting candles, kneeling down before the image of Our Lady who calls us when you choose blasphemers, you choose thieves, you choose murderers, you, sh you choose cursors of God as leaders? You say, this is not the right time to talk about it? When else? When the throne has come down because the virgin does not like our thrones anymore, 
because we have enthroned in our hearts killers and murderers and corrupt plunderers. The Virgin of Manawag may be happy with the throne we have built for her, but the Virgin of Manawag would be happier if you allow her to be enthroned in your hearts and your hearts be pure and your hearts be changed to become the heart of Jesus. Some things are important, but some things are more important than the others. Our enthronement on her pedestal is important, but your enthronement of the Virgin in your heart is the best of all.